Hey, look at everyone. God bless you, everyone. Good evening. Exactly good evening now. God bless you everyone. Good evening everyone. Everyone here. Everybody. Come on. Join me this evening. Good morning USA. Good morning Bradley Light Bridge Senior. Good morning my big teddy bear. God bless you. Everybody join me this evening. Uh, today, uh, tonight, I uh, will share to all of you my daily devotion. Because I finished already the box of Revelation. And then I need to pray first. If, uh, which uh, scripture again I will share to all of you but uh, this evening let me share my daily devotion so the, my daily devotion the presence of God this is my uh, daily devotion the presence of God I will share to all of you <laughs> notification I make it I make it low already my big deliver no worry so okay so uh, this evening, I will share daily devotion, King James Bible version, the presence of God. This is my uh, topic tonight. Tonight, I will share daily devotion. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone here. God bless you, Brother Adam, Adam Lovell. God bless you. Good morning, USA. Good evening from here in the Middle East and evening, afternoon, Europe and Africa and evening, Asia, my beloved country in the Philippines. So the presence of God in the books of Exodus chapter 33 verse 14. And he said, okay, Exodus, Exodus chapter 33 verse 14. And he said, my presence, God was saying, my presence shall go with thee. God saying in books of Exodus that his presence, okay, shall go with thee and I will, okay, I will give thee rest. So it's a very clear what God telling us, what God saying that his presence, everyone over all of us, if we go everywhere, okay, but still the presence of God is go with us. Amen. So daily devotion message, what saying? In the old covenant. <clears throat> the old covenant, the presence of God came upon the prophets. Amen. Live with the prophets in the old covenant. Okay. And walk with the prophets. However, amen, in the new, in the new covenant, it's meant covenant in the Old Testament. Okay, now we are here in the New Testament. Okay, because in the Old Testament, Jesus not yet came into this world. So that's why we have, we call New Testament because Jesus came unto this world okay so however in the new covenant the children of god are born into the presence of god and the presence of god lives inside them amen so it was saying here okay in the new testament okay being a children of god amen being a children of god okay we are born into the presence of god okay if we are born again okay we born and we live in the presence of god amen so it was saying here and god the presence the presence of god okay lives inside us amen his spirit his holy spirit if we became born again, okay, the Holy Spirit of God lives inside us, dwell it inside us. Amen. Okay, so the presence is God is called the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. The presence. So the presence, it means is the Holy Spirit of God. So, amen. Which Jesus Christ gave, okay, gave to the church after his departure from up. Amen, everyone. You, you understand, everyone? So Jesus Christ, okay, Jesus Christ, okay, gave, gave to the church. It means is <clears throat> after his depart from up in heaven, okay, his present, he gave to the church. Amen. So when, when the Holy Spirit is in you, okay, the Holy Spirit of Jesus, okay, In case it's, it's different spirit. Amen. You make it sure that the spirit dwelleth in you is the spirit. Okay. The spirit of Jesus Christ. Okay. When the Holy Spirit is in you and with you. Okay. He gives you. He gives you rest. Amen. So if the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit of God inside you. He will give you the rest. Amen. Okay. In fact, you operate from a place of rest, a place without struggle. Amen. It's very clear. And a place full of abundance. Amen. So, <clears throat> you are operating, question, you are operating from a place of rest. Okay. Here we are. In Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16, King James Bible version. That say the Lord, okay, in Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16, that say the Lord, stand, okay, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for old paths where is the good way and walk therein. It's very clear. So, Jesus Christ was saying, Say the Lord Jesus was saying, "Stand ye, okay, in thy ways, okay, in thy ways." If how Jesus, if how Jesus was saying, "Follow me." So we need to stand thy ways, okay, thy ways, and see, okay, and ask for the old paths where is the good way, okay, and walk therein. And you shall find, and you shall find rest for your souls. Amen. But they said, we will not walk therein. Amen. So how, how you can find your souls to rest? Amen. How? Where is the good, where is the good way? Where is the good way that we all can find our souls to rest? Amen. Now I will ask. Okay. But Jesus was saying, okay, we need, okay, we need to stand. We need to stand in the ways how Jesus is saying we need to follow us. Amen. And see. Okay. And see. And, <clears throat> and ask for the old paths. So it was saying here, where is the good way? Asking. You see? So we need is, where is the good way that everyone, all of us, we know if where is the good way, okay, to stand and follow so that, okay, so that our souls, okay, can find rest. Amen. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28, King James Bible Version. Okay, Matthew, in the box of Matthew, come unto me. Okay, so God was saying, come unto me. Ye that labor, okay, are heavy laden. It means e, you, you that labor, okay, and are heavy laden. And I will give you the rest. It's very clear. So Jesus was saying, We need to come with him. Because saying, come unto me. 
okay? So come answer me, it's very clear. So then, why you cannot come, okay? Why you cannot come and stand and follow Jesus? This is what I'm saying, only I'm sharing, okay? All your labor, it was saying only ye that labor. It means it's only you that labor, okay? And are he be laden. It means it's a short word. All you are struggling or whatever it is life, about life, Jesus was saying, I will give you the rest. So it means is if we put Jesus first, In everything we do, Jesus is the one to give us rest, even those our souls. Amen. Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 8. And the Lord, he it is that doth go before thee. He will be with thee. Oh, Jesus was saying, okay. He will not fail thee. It means, <clears throat> here we are. Neither forsake thee, fear not, neither be dismayed. Powerful. Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 8. So what the Lord say? Okay, 31 verse 8. What the Lord? The Lord say, he it is that, okay, go before thee. Okay, before thee, okay, and he will be, he will be with thee. Of course, Jesus is with us, amen. He, Jesus is with us forever, amen, forever and ever, amen, if we follow him and accepting him and put him first and stand to the ground, amen, to go straight to stand for Jesus Christ. We need to die for Jesus Christ. Amen. Because Jesus he will not fail with us. If we put him first. Amen. Jesus will not fail. He is the one. He is the one. The reason died on the cross. Because Jesus is the one to save mankind of all sins in this world. So if we stand for Jesus Christ. Amen. We die for him. Amen. One hundred percent. Our second death. Our souls. Okay, is we live forever with Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus saying He will not fail us. Of course, Jesus will not fail us because Jesus is done already. Amen. So it's a very clear for the Scripture. <clears throat> he will not fail us. Yes, one hundred percent. Jesus never fail. Because he's done already. He's done already on the cross. He died already on the cross. Amen. So Jesus will not fail. Amen. Neither forsake us. Forsake thee. Jesus will never fail us nor forsake us. Because Jesus is the truth. Amen. Jesus Okay, I will read another scripture. In John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus say, Amen, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. And no one, no one come to the Father except by Him. So Jesus is the truth. Amen. <clears throat> Jesus will never fail us. Jesus will never seek us. Only mankind or only people, okay? Only people forsaken Jesus. Only people rejecting Jesus. Only people denying Jesus. This is the problem of all over the world. But if we follow the scripture, if what the scripture is saying, okay, the Lord, okay, the Lord Is not doth okay go before thee and Jesus he will not be okay he will be with us with thee amen and Jesus he will not fail thee Jesus will not forsake thee all all of us for not seeking us 
Amen. I believe the script, the scripture, what the scripture say. He will not fail thee. 100% Jesus never fail because Jesus done already finish done finish that's it period amen so fear not nothing to fear amen nothing's to fear with having Jesus Christ Amen. With having Jesus Christ, you can find your soul's rest in peace. With having Jesus Christ, you can live forever until forever. Because only Jesus can give us eternal life forever and not here on earth. Amen. Not the world, not the earth giving you your souls, okay, to giving your souls to rest. Only one, Jesus Christ. Okay, so fear not. So Jesus was saying, neither forsake, neither forsake thee, fear not, neither be dismayed. So nothing to fear. Neither to dismay in your life. It doesn't matter we are struggling. Amen. It doesn't matter what we are facing in this world. Amen. It doesn't matter for everything. Remember when Jesus became a man, Jesus is the one to face everything. We struggle here this time. We struggle here this time. When Jesus became a man, he struggled also here in this world. Amen. So not only not only we are mankind struggle in this world. Even Jesus was became a man, he struggled also here in this world. So don't complain about what we are facing. What life it is. Amen. Don't complain about life. You're born to be poor. The most important is you thank God we are alive. We thanks God we are. God keep us breathing. Thanks God that we are healthy. So no complaining about life. Amen. So when became when we became born again, we have nothing to fear if what we are facing in this world. Why? Because the Holy Spirit of God, His presence. Always with us whenever we go. Amen. Even you go everywhere. Amen. But still, if you're trusting in God, His presence always with you. With us. He is guiding us. He is lead us. He is the one to teach us the presence of God. You can feel in your heart the presence of God, amen, if you focus, amen, to stand firm. You can feel His presence, amen, if you meditate, if you meditate your mind, amen, if you meditate your mind, doing a good works, so amen, and you focus living with Him, amen, you living in God, and you walk in the Spirit, Amen. Only in your mind is thinking about the kingdom of God. You can feel the Holy Spirit of God whenever you go. Amen. Because the Holy Spirit of God, that even those we cannot see it, but we can feel in our whole mind, heart, body, and souls. Amen. So it's a very clear the message. Okay. Very clear the message in Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Come unto me. So Jesus was saying, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you the rest. It means is in a short words. Amen. 
If we put Jesus, if we accept Jesus, we became born again. We separated the world, everything, even how we struggle, everything. Okay, but we we cannot feel fear. We don't have fear because we know we know if who is handle everything. He is from up. Amen. Because remember, in this world. We can trust. We cannot trust anyone. He is from up. And if we trust from up, if we put him from up, he is the one to send us. Okay, remember, God is the one to make the way how we trust someone or how God bless us. He is the one to make the way, okay, to send someone In our life. Amen. So it's very clear. So what we're going to do. The scripture. Really the scripture can teach a lot. We can learn. What the scripture says. Amen. So it a short word. Come unto me. It means is. We need to suffer Jesus Christ. Amen. And Jesus is the one to give us the rest. Why, why you need to struggle? Why you need to think all about? Why you need to stress? If you think you can manage, you can manage yourselves. If you think you can do everything you want, you cannot do it. All mankind in this world, we can't do ye nothing in this world without God. Amen. This is we need to understand. We can't do nothing without from up amen even those how people they having power but he is still from up amen so what we gonna do we need to put him first and the rest okay and the rest what we need God is the one added unto us Amen. So the scripture, if we really read the Bible and study to learn more knowledge and wisdom, the Bible can teach us how the way we live in this world. We understand everything. Amen. So every scripture, if we read, we need to understand So you can hear, okay, you can hear this, God was saying, okay, in the Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 8, and the Lord, so God was saying, he it is that doth go before thee, he will, he will be with thee. It means if you go in everywhere in United States or Around in the states of America, the Holy Spirit of God is always with you. If you are in America and you want to go in Africa, amen, if you trust the Lord, the presence of God is with you. Amen. Because remember, this world is too small. God created only here in His hand. Amen. So if we trust to the Lord, everything we can do, amen. The Lord, our Lord God, is the one to give the rest. Amen. So it was saying, He will not fail. Yes, He will not fail. Because it's finished. It's done. So that's why the scripture is saying, the New Testament, the New Testament, if we read and study, we understand. Amen. So what God say? Okay. So if we if we read the Old Testament compared to the New Testament, okay, the Old Testament, okay, the old the, the presence of God, amen, is came. The presence of God is came upon the prophets. The Old Testament. Okay. They live with the prophets. Amen. And they walk with the prophets. But okay. However, in the New Testament, okay, 
the children of God are born. Okay, the children of God are born into the presence of God and the presence of God. Okay, the presence of God live inside us. Amen. Because we are born again. Amen. So born again, amen, we can feel already the Holy Spirit of God dwell it in us. Amen. This is what saying. So the presence of God, the presence of God is called the Holy Spirit. Amen. As everyone, everyone is not yet born again. I mean, it's different your life if the person is became born again. Why? Because the person, the persons that are not born again, they are still not separated the world. So if you are not yet separated the world, you are the enemies of God. So you cannot feel 100% the Holy Spirit of God inside you. But then, if the persons became born again, amen, only focus to Jesus Christ, amen, the Holy Spirit of God inside you. Amen. Because the scripture was saying, we need to put God first and not the world that belongs to the world. This is why Jesus became a man. Now that we have, we call the New Testament. The New Testament. Okay. This is the testimony of Jesus Christ when he became a man and died on the cross and resurrected. Okay. Okay resurrected in the third day and depart from up so when jesus depart before he depart okay it was saying <clears throat> jesus christ gave to the church okay after his departure the presence of god is called the holy spirit okay which jesus christ gave to the church after his departure Amen. So when the Holy Spirit is in you, okay, and with you, He give you the rest. Yes, you have peace of mind. You can feel in your body. It's different. It's different. Amen. Without the Holy Spirit of God inside you. If the Holy Spirit already inside us, amen, we can feel already that God always, okay, always guide us, always protect us, always lead us. So we cannot feel fear because we know what is the truth. Amen. So the person, the person, Born again and not born again is very different. The person that are not born again always can feel fear. The person that are born again became born again. We can feel fear because we know we know who is our savior. We know who is our protector. We know who, who will help us. He is from us. Amen. So it's a very clear the scripture. Okay. The very clear the scripture in Exodus chapter 33 verse 14. Jesus was saying, my presence. Okay. It's a very clear. My presence shall go with thee. It means is the presence of God. Okay, the presence of God always with us, always go with us whenever we go in this planet Earth. Amen. 
and I will give, I will give the rest. So in a short word, only Jesus all we need. In everything we do in this world, only Jesus Christ. Amen. But the problem is, the people don't read the Bible. The people don't want to hear the truth. The people don't want to hear the words of God. Then how they understand? Because the people, they choose to hear all gossips. People choose to hear all lies. Amen. This is give them stress. You can do it. Imagine even the words of God that can guide us and teach us what is the truth. They don't want, they don't want to read and hear. It was right. Amen. Only the person can understand if they focus, okay, to focus what the scripture say, what the Bible say. Amen. Only we understand if the person give time to read the Bible. But the, the problem is, okay, people don't want to read. People don't want to hear. People don't want anything about what is the Bible. People don't want to hear anything. People loves to hear all scandals. People loves to hear all lies. People loves to hear like all this politician. People loves to hear about belongs to the world. But about God, people don't want to hear it. Then how people will understand. Amen. It was right. People don't understand. Amen. It's a very clear what the scripture say. This is the world. This is the people here in this world. Amen. And this is what I noticed. You can do imagine here. You can do imagine claiming all these people here born again Christian. All Christian. Amen. I have these thousands of friends here in this social media. But if I if I preach the gospel of God, they don't want to hear it. But claiming Christian. Even though I will not mention I will not mention for anyone, but it's the truth. Amen. And only come with you if they need. They need to comfort them. Only they will come with you if they need help. Asking. This is what we call a selfishness. Selfish. But anyone don't want to hear the words of God. But I never give up. Because I know number one who is going to hear my message, he is from up. My Lord God. Amen. <coughs> So God was saying, okay, so God was saying, even those you are struggling in life, okay, it was saying, in fact, you operate from place, okay, place of rest, a place without struggle, okay, and a place full of abundance, okay. So Jesus Christ, okay, when the Holy Spirit in you, okay, he can give you the rest. So, amen. So even those, what we are doing in life, we are struggling or whatever it is, we always feel like this, we always feel like that. But if we having Jesus Christ, if we put Him, we trusting in Him, our faith without doubting. Amen. Our faith, we still continue believe. We need to stand our faith. Okay, stand to our faith that no doubting. Amen. The Holy Spirit of God is the one, is the one to help us, to teach us, to guide us, to lead us. Amen. 
Because God is the Spirit. He is not mankind like us. But even though the Father God sent His only one begotten Son unto the world, and that is Jesus Christ, Jesus is God that He became mankind, became a human. Amen. So in the New Testament, okay, Jesus teach us how we live in this world. Amen. The scripture, okay, the scripture can tell us. The Bible can help us a lot. A lot in life of every, every mankind. Amen. Because only the Bible can telling us the truth. And no one else the books. Only the books. The Bible. Even you search in everywhere. But only the Bible can telling us the truth. In everything. In everything we do. Amen. So only Jesus, okay, only Jesus all we need. Amen. But the problem of people is continue denying him because they enjoy life about the world. They can't they can't control the spirit the world. Because they thought the world or belongs to the world can save their souls. But 100%, no one can save your souls except Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because only Jesus is the way to heaven. Only Jesus can give us eternal life. Only Jesus is our personal Savior. So it means is whenever we go, the presence of God always with us. Amen. If we be became born again, okay, we cannot feel already here inside our hearts fear. Because we know, we know our Savior, personal Savior, He is from up. Amen. So this is my message to church only this evening. Daily devotion. Daily devotion, the presence of God. This is my topic this evening in Exodus chapter 33 verse 14. Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. And the Deuteronomy chapter 31 verse 8. Daily devotion, the presence of God. I don't care about people. They don't want to hear or what it is. But I know number one, even though there's nobody here watching me, I know he is from up. He is the one. He is the one to watch me. He is the one from up who bless me. I saw there's a lot of people here. They are all, they are saying they are Christian. They are seeing, they are born again, but look at how the way they are people here. Amen. This is how we call brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Jesus will teach us. Jesus teach us that we treat all like this. Jesus never teach us like that. Amen. Brothers and sisters in Christ. You can do imagine in Christ. But you, you, how how people in reality here? Amen. All but God I need. And not the people on earth. Not men on earth. But God. Amen. Tutors are saying that speak. Okay. Actions speak louder than words. Not by saying your mouth. You need in action. Not talking and talking and talking and talking. Continue talking. Actions speak louder than words. Amen. God bless you big to Thank you so much. <clears throat>
This is Bilal Staga. God bless you. And the, the founder of the Power of God Church and the Power of God's Ministry and Bella's Ministry. And also the Warrior of Christ and United for Christ. But the Power of God Church. The Power of God Church here in Facebook is my real church in Manila, Philippines. Amen. We are helping the children around in the Philippines. There was a saying, not only by talking, amen, for helping, for helping people having a pure heart, amen, a genuine heart, a genuine relationships to God, not by talking your mouth with action, amen, because even God wants us in action, not we always claiming <clears throat> we are like this. We need we we don't need to show people. We don't need to show the world. We need to prove from up. Because he is the one, okay, from up. Only Jesus is the one, okay, to give us eternal life. So we need to prove from up and not to prove the world if who we are. Amen. So God bless you everyone. Thank you so much my big daddy bear. Good evening. And uh, good, uh, good evening now already here. Everyone, blessings upon us. My prayers for all of you. God bless you and good evening.